so hi everyone, I'm Irene. Uh, thank you um, for joining. And today I'm going to introduce you to a new coming feature called Actions across the Microsoft 365 platform. So it brings your app into a user's workflow. And currently it is in private preview and we welcome you to you all to sign up and try it out. And so let's start with uh, the pinpoint we are trying to solve for the users. Have you ever find yourself lost when toggling across various applications and windows just trying to accomplish a certain simple specific task? And people's daily work efficiency hurts a lot from constantly switching between apps and windows. People feel frustrated and easily get distracted while they need to toggle back and forth between apps to complete a task. And let's walk through a user scenario to make it more solid. So in this case, I'm a sales manager and I use a Northwind app, which is an app um, built by third party as a supplier management system that I need to check my suppliers. And uh, a lot of time I want to import files to my supplier management system. So after I read the file, I really need to go to my uh, the Northwind app. I need to find the supplier and open the file explorer to identify the location of the file I want to attach. And just for attaching a file, I can easily switch in between four applications and windows. And some a little more complicated, complicated task where I want to find, uh, I receive a report about different sales suppliers, and I want to check who are mentioned uh, in who, or which suppliers are mentioned in my uh, supplier management system from this report. So I first need to open up this report Excel file, and I also need to open up another window of my supplier man management system, and I need to switch back and forth manually check one by one to see if there are any uh, if there are any matches. So many clicks, toggles, and I easily get lost and interrupted before I finish this task. So now uh, let's see how the new feature actions can help this make it easier. So let's do the same task. Um, I usually start my day in the Microsoft 365 app where I have easy access to all my files. And uh, to import my file to my supplier management system, now I can directly right click on this file I want to import. And I see add to supplier, which is a uh, action built by Northwind. So clicking on that, so clicking on that, it actually brings me out a dialogue and I can simply choose which supplier I want to add to and click add. So quick and easy, I finish this tag without even need to open up the file or the uh, supplier management system app. So the other task where I want to see which suppliers are mentioned in my report in my system. So I can directly right click on the Excel file where I see uh, related suppliers actions. And by clicking on that, this action brings me into the Northwind app directly inside the Microsoft 365 app in the same window. And it also directly shows me all the files, uh, all the suppliers that are mentioned in this uh, Excel already. So quick and easy, as you see, Actions is bringing efficiency to users. Through actions, we help the users to complete their task with less clicks. It shortens the time they need to spend to complete the task. And also, with less apps, app and window switching, it allows users to reduce the effort to complete a task both physically and mentally. So with actions, you have the power to help your users to complete their task easily without leaving their workflow. And from an app developer's perspective, an action brings your app to users. From this, it actually helps to increase your app's discoverability and in user engagement. So when a user wants to complete a task on a piece of content like files, your app is right at their fingertip on the right-click menu. So from actions, your app will also get more context about the user intents so you can serve your users better with the user's needs. 
from a developer's perspective, an actions can be understood in three concepts, intent, object, plus handlers. So when a user wants to complete a specific task, it can be described from intent plus object, basically a verb of what the user wants to do, like open, add to, create, or and a noun, uh, basically what objects the user wants to perform on, like a file or a task of word, uh, something else. And from a developer's perspective, you have the choice to build the handlers based on the information you receive. And you can choose to build the best, best way to help your users to complete their task in the most meaningful way. To build an action is very easy. And if you already have a Teams app built, it takes only like less than an hour just to add an action to it. So three simple steps to build an action. So step one, you will just add your manifest. Uh, in your current manifest of the Teams app, you're going to define actions node as a simple JSON payload. And then you will able to use a Teams JS API get context to get information about the actions and also get information about the object, basically the file that the user uh, triggers on. And then by getting those information, you will able to call Graph API to get information or access the content or help your user to modify or do whatever they want with the content. So now uh, it's demo time. Let's see a real example with the demo app. Uh, yeah, let's see the example app that uh, that we are. Yeah, it, uh, basically it's a demo app that everyone will have access to, um, and you can try it yourself. So let's see uh, how it works. So now I am in Microsoft 365 app. And this demo app is a to-do app. It's a simple to-do app, which helps you can, uh, which user can like add an item of what they want to do, add a task they want to do. And also when they finish, they can mark something as complete, like simple and easy app. And now from a uh, users, for example, I start my day here and I want to create a task, like uh, I want to share this invoice template to my friends. And then I can go to right click add to, add to do task, and it will have this attachment and I can add a note saying, okay, share to Kate. Kate. Okay, I click submit. So this task is add to my to-do app. And when I finish this task, I can simply also right click on it and I can say mark complete. And here, oops, here it actually, oops, let me refresh. <laughs> So, okay, so here it actually brings me into the uh, to-do app and where shows me all the tasks that are related to this file. So I can mark them complete. So to build the app actions like this is super easy. Let's go into the code. So this is uh, my Teams app, uh, app package. And in my manifest JSON file, I add a, Add a node called actions, and this can build. You can build multiple actions in the match action node. So using the add to do task as an example, you can define the display name, and you will define the intent add to, and you will define your handler. In this case, it will direct user to a dialog, so it goes to a type open dialog, and I will say which uh, objects it can support on. So here I say it can trigger it on like Excel, Word doc, and a bunch of other file types. And in the file, uh, in the dialog info, I will put all the information I need to trigger this dialog. So basically I have a HTML based dialog, so I put the URL here. And go into the dialog, uh, my handler, which is the dialog. I have this, uh, I have, Get context. Yes, I'm using the get context Teams JS API to get the context about the actions and also get the objects IDs. And using this ID, I'm able to call Graph API to get the item from this ID. Okay, so back to the slides. Um, 
So from this above example, you can see it is easy to build an action. And what's more important is that Actions works across Microsoft's 365 platform. So you only need to build once, it will show up everywhere throughout the, across the platform. In our current private preview of Actions, uh, you can see Actions works in Microsoft 365 app, and it is coming to Outlook and Teams soon. So um, in our private preview, we are starting with supporting Actions on files that are more specifically that are files in OneDrive and SharePoint. We are going to extend it to more types of content and also more types of entities and objects later. And in this private preview, we're starting with enabling intents, including popular intents across M365 platform like Open, Agile, and we also enable a custom intent. In this case, you can fulfill any user needs. And we are also going to include more intents coming. That means new more entry points, uh, uh, new entry points that you can see actions across Microsoft 365 platform. And also for handlers, right now we enable two types of handlers. It is your choice to see which one helps your user to complete their tasks easy. So that includes you can direct the users to open up the personal tab of your app, or you can help your users to complete their tasks in a dialog. So um, yeah, I shared a lot about the actions, and right now it is in private preview, and I invite you everyone to start trying and you can fill out this form through this link to join our private preview. And uh, feel free to contact me. I'm Irene Wang, and uh, or through the link. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.